Well, it's another warm welcome back, all my vintage dirt bike fanatics, and thanks once again for returning to check out more forgotten off-road motorcycles here on my classic dirt bike TV channel. Now, in this next featured video, we're going to continue looking at more British classics from the legendary Alan Clues CCM Motorcycle Company, and in this uh, forthcoming clip, we're going to browse at another of his mechanical creations. And so I do hope you'll hang around with me for the next few minutes as we check out a fully original CCM specimen as we take a look at Peter Hollinshead's Clues Classic. Now you may remember that in some of my past videos you've uh, heard me uh, comment on just how rare it is to find these old original CCM bikes and uh, as luck would have it this featured bike of Peter Holland's head is about as original as you can get. Now the bike is a 1979 uh, four valve four speed CCM and uh, Peter has owned this particular machine for the last 30 years. Now every single part on this bike is as it was fitted at the Allen Clues uh, Bolton factory back in 19. 79 although Peter uh, fitted a new set of uh, tires on this bike just prior to me getting these video clips as it was about to take part in a classic uh, scramble. Now Peter tells me that this is just one of a collection of these Clues classics that he has at home so uh, hopefully we may get a look at some more of Peter's bikes in future videos here on uh, Classic Dirt Bike TV. Now this alloy fuel tank is of course the real McCoy from 1979 and it's great to see an original one of these uh, tanks on a Clues bike as uh, many of the replica CCM machines that are now being built are of course copies of this design. Now the motor is fitted with a four valve uh, top end and uh, this particular engine is uh, also fitted with the rarer four speed uh, gearbox, as of course uh, many of the other CCM bikes have the standard uh, three-speed unit. Now Peter also tells me that this engine is still as it was back in the day and has never been dismantled or repaired, which is uh, another quite rare commodity for one of these old uh, Allen Clues bikes. Now the plastics and uh, the bike seat again are all originals from that particular year, although I uh, will not comment on Peter's number painting skills here as uh, this was a bit of a rush job to enable him to get the bike onto the track. Now the bike has still of course got its original uh, chrome plated uh, frame from back in the day, although the chrome is uh, maybe not in the best of condition but you have to take into account the, the age of uh, this old uh, four-stroke machine. Now another one of the trademarks was of course the uh, foot rests which were uh, mounted straight onto the engine casings for this model. And of course it was the great Alan Clues who took this standard uh, B50 BSA engine and turned it into a four-stroke motocross uh, winner. But uh, make no mistake, this is a very rare machine indeed and it's a testament to uh, Peter that he's not just locking this bike away but this bike was uh, ready to take part in an old uh, classic scramble event. Now as you can see this uh, bike had uh, quite long legs way back in the day but uh, nevertheless these were certainly good suspension units for the time and suited this big four-stroke motor to a T. Now although these big uh, B50 motors were uh, old technology by BSA when Alan Clues uh, worked his magic on these machines they certainly went on to pack a punch on the racetrack. And you can just see the uh, state of the chrome on the swing arm uh, peeling off uh, ever so slightly but that's uh, no disrespect to the bike when you consider the age 
of this uh, very rare machine and the rear shocks also are still uh, the originals fitted from 1979 so it's uh, great to see one of these old original Allen Clues machines. Now, of course back in the day many thought that uh, bolting the foot rests onto the side of the engine casings was maybe not such a good idea but uh, the reality was that uh, this worked uh, absolutely perfectly on the racetrack. Now as I mentioned this bike is still hanging on to all its original bits and uh, pieces right up to uh, this original bar pad on the handlebars is all authentic from 79. But it's certainly a very rare sight to capture one of these original Allen Clues uh, CCMs. Of course many uh, replicas are now being built uh, in this modern day but uh, you certainly can't take anything away from an old uh, Clues original machine. But it just goes to show that although these bikes are uh, quite rare in their original form it just uh, shows you that there are still one or two of these uh, fine examples still uh, hiding in barns and workshops around the country. And even despite this bike's rarity it's still great to see that Peter is uh, using this uh, lovely original bike from 1979 on the racetrack and uh, still using it as a day-to-day -day, uh, classic racer. And so I do hope you enjoyed this uh, very brief look at what is a very special Allen Clues uh, CCM. Now coming up in my next posting here on Classic Dirt Bike TV we'll be looking at another of uh, Peter Hollinshead's uh, classic race bikes and this time we will take a quick browse at his 1958 SRM BSA. So thanks once again for tuning in and I do hope you will return to Classic Dirt Bike TV to see more of these vintage off-roaders. <laughs>